All right, today's video is a doozy, and it just makes me think of the fact that when you're living your day-to-day -day life, when you're going to the grocery store, when you're, you know, going to hang out with your mom at the park, you're going to the movies, you're doing whatever, all these people are around you, and some of them are crazy and out of their mind, and they're just waiting for one little trigger to just boom, and you'll see all their craziness. So police got a call of a um, large woman in a bikini running around the top floor hallway of a Comfort Inn hotel, causing disturbances, running around, you know, knocking on doors, yelling, screaming, the whole nine yards. And the hotel staff uh, spoke with her and, you know, tried to quell the situation and it was going nowhere. So they tried to get her to leave the hotel and she refused. So ultimately they had to call the police and the police now are showing up and the situation that unfortunately you have to see, because I had to, is as followed. Yes. Who is it? Sheriff's office. Might I ask what the problem is? Sheriff's office. I was approached by someone, and I would like to know what the problem is. Uh, I'm, because I'm I can't even get in my own pool. The there was a dog in the parking lot. Unlock the door. Um, Unlock the door. You're going to go to jail Why? if you don't you're open the door. If you don't open, open this, you're going to go to jail. I'm going to defects, and I'm going to my lawyers. I want you all to calm down for a minute. Unlock the door, please. And I will unlock it for you. Okay. Go ahead and remove it. Now, unlock it. might I ask why? Because we're telling you to. Do you have a warrant? I don't need a don't warrant. Don't need one. Why was that lady... You're going to jail. All right. So You've it. been warned. Okay, I'm sorry. Yep, so are we. Open okay, the door. what do you want me to do, baby? Unlock we'll open the, the door. door. Okay, are you going to arrest me? Unlock the door. No, go get my lawyer. Okay, now you just added a charge of resisting. Good job. No, I would like to speak with my lawyer. The lady in reply to the roots. Cool. You just got trespass after warning and resisting. Yeah, yeah, come on you out. are leaving. Come on out. All right, as people who watch this channel know, I'm always praising the police, especially when they're putting their life on danger in chaotic situations. But I'm about to criticize and critique these officers here. So for me, when he sort of has the pissing contest, when she keeps asking, why are y'all here, you know, what, what do y'all want from me? And they're just like not answering that question. And, um, and she keeps talking and he's like, oh, now you're, you're going to jail now. Like there was this red line that she crossed. Whenever I see somebody who seems like either they're having a mental health episode or they're, you know, intoxicated on drugs or alcohol. And when you see like, it's, I just think it just is distasteful. If you're interacting with somebody who's drunk, drugs, or mentally disabled, and you expect them to, you know, respond to your demands or respond to what you're saying as if they were somebody who had it all upstairs right now, you know, I would just prefer to see compassion, understanding, officer discretion, which a lot of officers we, we do see do that, 99.9% .9 of them, but Sometimes you see officers when they're interacting with somebody who's like, you know, clinically, uh, I don't know if the R word, if we're allowed to say it right now, or mentally disabled. Um, just trying to be respectful. But when somebody's like loopy, schizophrenic, and you have an officer that is like, if you don't do what I say, the next, you got one more chance. And the person's obviously crazy and they're not going to do listen to the one more chance. And then after that officer grabs them or do whatever, it's just, if somebody, you know, Use some officers. I, I'm just a compassionate person, you know, and I just kudos to the police officers who do, um, you know, use their officer discretion and are, you know, thoughtful when interacting with people that are intoxicated on drugs or, you know, um, mentally disabled because they need help. If you have an alcohol problem, those people need help. If you have a drug problem, those people need help. If you have a mental health problem, those people need help. And I just like to see compassion. But maybe they'll show some compassion here. So let's see how this goes. It is a pedophile above my head. And then I was re refused service at two hotels. I've never been in this hotel. I say to myself, I'm going to go to the pool. Room 326. I'm going to go to the pool. 
and go about all this city freaking business that I still have to do because my aunt has just died. Man, would so you unlock the door, please? To make sure that my money from my grandfather that she took illegally from me is secure. Is that? I can't talk to you through the door. Would you unlock the door, please? I don't want y'all to rush on me. I'm not gonna rush, rush on you. You, you open, open the door. Guys just like, la, 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 la. All right. Well, da la 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 la. Open the well, door. Well, that's a big deal to some people. Okay. All right. Well, da la 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 la. Open the that's door. Like something getting poisoning. Unlock the door, please. Sir, I'm asking. I told you guys. About Wilson's okay, just thing that was closed. Remove that lock, and we'll talk some. Fur we'll talk further. Well, might we go outside so that I can? Yeah, I think that sounds out. like an excellent idea. Why step don't you unlock out. that door? I'm trying to compromise with you guys. Okay, well, you know how scary it is being in my position. My mom is yes, ma'am. We're in a compromising mood. Go ahead and uh, open that up. I'm trying to get to my own business, and there is so many. Would you unlock the door, please? Old hoop. In we're, the floor. we're getting a special now, key for that door. If we have to use that, are you going to open it so or not? What might be occurring? Okay, he's already got it. I don't know. What do you want me to do? Keep forcing the blonde on me? But she looks the like blonde. a psychopath. That means she might be. It isn't work. Oh, yeah. Sir, calm down. And I'll give you a second. Just you calm down. Do you don't have to break in the door. Apparently you do. Just chill. I'll open. Unlock it. Here we go. Look, man, what do you want me to say to you? That's I want to speak with my lawyer. Okay, you're going to need a lawyer. Yes, you do. Sir, chill the fuck out, bro. You are an abomination. I don't like this police interaction. I know this probably would be a highly contested, you know, video, so keep it civil in the comments. But if you notice when they bust in the door, they don't even give her instructions to put your hands behind your back. I think you should have told her, as soon as you got in there, put your hands behind your back, you're under arrest. But they didn't do that. Instead, they just did this. I'll replay it. I'll open. Unlock it. There we go. Look, man, what do you want me to say to you? That's I want to speak with my lawyer. Okay, you're going to need a lawyer. Yes, you do. Sir, chill the fuck out, yo. You are an abomination. And who might y'all be? Age right number, motherfucker. How many of us? They use two tasers on her at the same time. I've never seen that done in my life. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that probably could kill someone if you use two tasers from two different officers on one person. Um, and obviously the woman is like nuts and crazy and drunk or maybe even on drugs or mental health. That's not, you, she's not drunk. When I'm going to stop saying maybe she's drunk. Alcohol does not make people be loony like that. Either she's on hard drugs or she is, um, got mental problems. So obviously the woman is like, is, she needs to be removed from the hotel and she's got to leave because it's not the hotel's responsibility. It's a business. She needs to get out of there. But Again, I just go back to people like that I think need help. And I love when I see the police interactions when you see police officers handle the situations with compassion instead of handling it from a, you know, irritated, aggravated, you know, approach and treating her as if she is, you know, a normal, clear thinking person and expecting her to, re to respond as such. Face down, hands behind your back. What is I'm not anyone. I'm just someone's daughter lost down here. I'm here, shut up. I want to speak to my lawyer. I want to speak to my lawyer from Pontygorda. You'll get a chance to do that. Thank you, sir. I apologize. That was horrible. Please don't do this to me, you guys. <laughs> Look at the blueprints. All right, let's sit up. I'm so sorry. Might I have a... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's your wallet? My wallet is so in my... Slimy. Is it in your purse? I believe it's in my beach... Beach bag? Yeah, I brought it with me. Imagine if I hadn't. I'm sorry. God, it's a flashlight. That was you were 
requesting this? No. No. Have you taken anything today? Yes, sir. Because you're a little on the extra side. I'm just going through something really hard. And when I went to the place that they were supposed to solve it, they were more concerned <laughs> with Ty McLeod than they were with helping me get to the therapist. Now, I did get to the therapist, but the mental health ladies, they don't cover under the judge. They flutter around like they can do whatever they want. And it's very hard when that happens, especially when you've paid. You live right down the street on a rampart. Why are you here? Because that guy lives above me. It's like this weird thing with my aunt in the bank. So I don't want to get hurt. Right? 1990. All right. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know what to say. I didn't well, mean to Well, the resist. easy answer is... Hi, yes, how are you? My name's Cassandra. Right? Yes, sir. That's, that's all you got to do. I'm sorry. Instead of struggling and being all slimy. Right? It smells like you're... I think it's a bed's all nice made. All right. So, you will be going to jail today for trespass after warning. No. And I asked her who she was, and she didn't tell me who she was, sir. I'd like for you to rethink it for a moment. I don't even rethink anything. Can I please go to the BHU and call down? I finally got my hair untangled. And yeah, and she just mentioned the BHU, so that's a mental health hospital in Florida. Mm -mm. I don't like this interaction because at the end of the day, it's somebody who suffers from mental health problems, and she locked herself behind a door and just wouldn't open the door. I don't, I don't, she didn't really even do anything except, you know, they tried to tell a person who's not all upstairs, you're trespassing, you need to leave and expect her to understand and, you know, respond to that and like a normal person would and she doesn't, she's, you know, mentally not there. I don't like this interaction, but let's see what else happens if they actually take her to jail or not because what she said is literally what they should do is take her to the mental health hospital and let her calm down. It's a shame in the situation that the 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 person who is mentally not there and you know has the mental health she's having a mental health episode during her mental health episode recommends to the police the appropriate actions to take. It shouldn't have taken her to t to to suggest that, um, but. Let's continue. Maybe I, maybe I should give the police the benefit benefit of the doubt, and at the end of this situation, they will, you know, take the the appropriate actions here. Let's see. And that's where the judge asked me to go. I had to ask him three times for an MHE, go. not a psych. So I don't know where they were going to put me, but if they shaved my head, I was going to yeah, freak yeah. out. Mm -hmm. She is a your lost valid deal. I do show her on probation or supervised release status for an offense of possession of methamphetamine. Special conditions being no bars. $1,000. And the therapist is more concerned with me than with getting the information across to the therapist. I was able to go after I got out, though. So I must have been able to say something. Because they've been shaming me since I got here. And you know, like, it's hard to find private investigators. I asked for the private eyes number. It takes some years. Yes, What's that? What do you think? What about the pedophile and all those other pedophiles over there that I got pushed into and so I've been able to like be with McLeod? You have your uh I'm just, I had to wait yeah. for a year to That's prove fine. to Miss Connie, my doctor, you, uh, why in the pen I didn't oh, have, have the sleeping pills no, that I needed. She then it's... took me on a brain draft of a brain changing drug instead of just a drug that puts Would you mind standing up? Would you mind standing up for me? We'll get you some shoes. Can you get you your little sandals there and we'll Might walk I put out, on okay? Some clothes? My stuff hey, together. hold still. Hold still. I have a one in the closet. Hold still. Oh. It's just like a one piece. I bought it. I'm not going to be able to get that one out without I don't know if he's going to be like, I don't know, you, like I'm going to go to prison for eight years if you guys take me off instead of being able to do my business. I didn't do that to you. Yeah, you did when you let Ellen sell me like a slave. You're going to stop. 
Can I have a cigarette, please, no, sir? No. Why is it my fault? Stop tensing up. I want someone to collect my property. Okay. Please bring Stop, Stop tensing up. I have two hundred dollar glasses on. Stop. I'm getting so I can get into that fucking me. studio. And you're gonna walk like and a grown-up. And it's my studio. Do you understand me? Yes, sir, I do. Do you understand yes, sir, me? Sir. Do I say no or what do you say? Left or right. Can I speak to my mother while we're here? No. Mother? Why don't you take the phone in? Mm -hmm. Go to the apple with Mike. I'm so sorry. The, the chlorine scared me. And they've been pacing me back and forth yelling. And then they've been chasing Ty around over that old man. I wouldn't have even seen the husband at all. All I knew is some guy messing with me when I tried to put my walk on my door. Hey, Hey, buddy. So I'm just going to walk. Please don't send me back. I can do it. But you guys have to move at the same time. Like when I told the therapist to try to help me with the thing upstairs, I guess, you know, it's a bank thing. Like mm -hmm. what Susan was doing when she asked me to sign a quit claim deed and then mortgage out. And she called my dad a loose game. But really, what kind of was it? He made her seven hundred thousand dollars. Mm. He wasn't a dumbass. Mm. He was a money. good son. Don't you think that my little class ideals might make some good money? Mm -hmm. Well, the golden hoop on my mad wife, that better not come off, because that didn't come in the building. I knew when she came out there, she came out there to cause me problems, asked me what that lady was doing last night. Is there tulip in the lemonade? Maybe you checking those things. <laughs> no, taste it. I'm serious. But look at them berries down there. What do you think of the little sweet? Oh, yeah, berries? Yeah. Berries they... and cream? Well, what does lemonade taste like to you, sir? Not berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. The Marmalade Hill. <laughs> uh, VHSville. Oh, VHSville. Okay? I'm so sorry. It's really hard. You got anything on you or in you or tucked away? Baby. We'll see. Have a seat. That's and I plan to make sure they Did have enough money for yes. not to be yelled at. It's uh, right up by the front of the right breast. I think we got one in the car. Yeah, hold on. I did see a guy with his head shaved in a plastic probe in him. I don't want that to happen to my back. eye. Back. You understand, Fawfaw Billion? Oh. The braids are the ones that do the probing. Got it. That seat. I'm sorry, I didn't want to I think that was the only one. I know your, there was too much chlorine in there. I smoke so I can throw ammonia. Turn that way. You can, Turn that way. You can tell it. Turn that way. Nope, the other way. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Just keep fucking mouth. What? We'll see. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just... It took so long to get there, and I don't have anyone to talk to. There's some up there in the room. Well, I know that, but I, I thought three actually made contact. I don't know. I didn't see. It, it looked like one. I deployed two. You deployed Did two? Did you fire I didn't twice? See mm -hmm. I didn't see you fire twice. No. I didn't see you fire twice. My first one wasn't little, effective, I fired. so I fired the second one. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't too bad. I didn't die. Yeah, right? All right. All right, so that's just a whole mess and a classic example of the system, you know, failing certain types of people. Um, she was charged with um, resisting arrest without violence and failure to leave property uh, upon request of owner, which 
both of those charges will be thrown out. She's not mentally all there. It'll be thrown out under the guise of incompetent to stand trial. She's obviously incompetent. She's crazy. Um, and the resisting arrest, you never, they, as I pointed out, they never told her she was under arrest. They just came in, started grabbing her, tased her. You have to, you know, let the person know you are under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. That's why that saying is so synonymous. You know, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest because it's they have to give you the verbal command to um, do so. And the failure to leave. Anyway, those charges will be thrown out. I could go into like le legality of it, but just a mess. I don't know. What do you all think? I feel honestly. I feel bad for the woman. You know, and. You know, the officers, they're doing their job the best that they know how to and what they were trained, you know, how they were trained. So I don't fault them for not, you know, I don't know. I just don't like this situation. It, it's just, you know, I would have liked to have seen it handled a, a, a better way. But what do you have to say? Maybe you think I'm crazy and I don't know what I'm talking about and I should, um shut up right about this i'm just a i'm a big old dummy idiot on the internet i got a monkey though i got a monkey he's always in the end streams i never he sometimes is here hanging out with me but it's two o'clock in the morning so when he's when he's tired he gets very nasty he's like i'm fun to sleep and you're gonna leave me alone look here but he's in my end screens so like and subscribe and check out my monkey peace so uh, according to YouTube, you should like this other video that we made right here. And you know, YouTube knows everything. So do yourself a favor and go ahead and check that video out. Right, Tavo? Yeah.